Some couples go on cruises, some couples go camping, some couples go to strip clubs and have gangbangs. And this is just what we love. This is our gangbang. Wow. It seems like the game has really kept you guys connected. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. So, what were some of your favorite games growing up? Oh, um, uh, Duck Duck Goose. Yeah. Red Light Green Light. Hide and Seek. Tic Tac Toe. Hopscotch and Foursquare. <laughs> Foursquare. Where else? I also like a good game of horse. Mmm. Wow. It's yeah. funny because Hannah Boo just mentioned to me something about Duck Duck Goose. What did he say? He said he wanted to make a movie about <laughs> Duck Duck Goose. <laughs> <laughs> and cast a guy from Black Panther in it. <laughs> oh, God. So, I think it's awesome that you guys both play really strong women in the film. You yeah. as a journalist, you as um, the player wife. Oh no, I'm not, this is, I'm not the journalist. That's Annabelle. I play Jeremy Renner's um, wife, to be. Oh. That's okay. Oh my yeah. gosh. No! No, don't worry, okay. don't worry, don't worry. We're both blonde. <laughs> I mean, I'm listen, if too. I, by the way, if I get com if I get confused for Annabelle, I'll take that any day. Yeah, I'm uh, both gorgeous. I was definitely a blonde in my past life. I mean, clearly. clearly. By the way, but I, anyway. and nobody's gonna get mad about me. As long as you don't call me Amy Adams, we're up to a great Oh God, start. don't say Amy. <laughs> Amy, I mean Isla. But what, be, with that being said, have you ever guys had a time in life where you guys had to be the strong alpha female in a boys' club? Oh yeah, it's I grew up Hollywood. in Australia, <laughs> in the be in a place where like with all my brothers, like oh, yeah. all surrounded by boys, and um, yeah, it was like it, it's not like it's just like all the boys would go surfing and all the boys would kind of do stuff, and I can surf a little bit, but I, it wasn't like my passion. So I felt like I didn't feel left out, but I definitely felt the need to be, you know, loud to be heard. <laughs> I feel like you have no problem being heard <laughs> at all, whatsoever. You have yeah. overcome that <laughs> totally. So being that this is originally from a, an article, like a story, what has been some of the craziest thing you guys have heard about yourself in the press? Oh, God. Nobody cares about me, so nothing. Nothing's been said about me in the press. I've, uh, I've only, I've sort of just occasionally given a quote about a character. So said like, like let's say I was talking about Gloria from the wedding crashes. I'd say, oh, Gloria is a bipolar nymphomaniac. And sometimes like back in the day, cause I've been sort of in the public eye since I was 16. So then someone would take out that I was discussing my character and instead say, Isla says of herself, no! With the actual quote. And then that just does your head in because you think, you, you know, if you want to contextualize, <laughs> you don't even give it in the right context. It sounds, you know, and I've played some Isla unique characters. is a bipolar <laughs> I feel like that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's what true. Do, what do you guys think this movie teaches about friendship? Oh, God, I feel just like... that the bonds we make in childhood as, you know, some of the most valuable that we can keep because they know our... They know the side of ourselves that we may suppress as adults in order to get on in the world. I also think, like, I'm not really still in touch with any of my friends from childhood, but I think it's about friendship. And as we get older, our friends are kind of can be our chosen family. Right. So it's an important bond to stay connected to these people that you choose versus just being born into this family. So they're your, your chosen family. And I think it's important to stay connected to them.